Hi everyone, this is Zanta with Repo Products. Today's video is a video on a Spanish tile roof in Revit. This was a request from an end user on the, my YouTube channel. And he or she wanted to know, can you make a Spanish tile roof with curtain wall or beam system method? Uh, people have used a mass method with adaptive um, components and things like that, but they wanted to know if you could just use a curtain wall um, and so here we are in Revit 2020 and if we look at this particular roof it's just a roof by footprint and I chose sloped glazing. If we drill into it we can see that it looks like it has these barrel type of tiles and the way that works is if I select it and go into the tight properties it's a curtain panel. Okay so let's look at that curtain panel. I'm going to tab into the curtain panel, select it and edit the family. <clears throat> the family itself uh, looks like this and um, the way I built it is it is a blend okay so when you select it you'll see it says blend if I go to say interior or exterior elevation side you can see what it looks like on the exterior side and on the interior side if we look at it from a 3d perspective and we select it and we edit the top we can see that it looks like this if we edit the base it looks like this and it extrudes it the height that we want. If we go over to the exterior elevation or interior elevation, um, the height is adjustable based upon the reference plane that it's, it's tied to. Okay, You can parameterize this value if you need to, but I didn't bother because I know that in the curtain panel system, you can define that anyway. So once you've built it like this, you load it into the project and close the file. Uh, I'm not going to worry about saving it or overriding it because it's already been done. Um, and the spacing and everything that you see here is based upon selecting the sloped glazing, going to the type properties, and specifying the spacing here. So I specified six and one. Um, so I, you know, it's um, fairly large, not horrible, six inch by one foot. Um, I've seen much larger Spanish tile, but I've seen slightly smaller. So depending on what size you want to work with, it will dictate how it looks. Um, let's say I make it uh, one by two instead and hit OK. Just remember that the spacing that you define, the smaller it is, the more it has to make. And so the tighter and smaller it will look. And this is kind of your end result. Okay. Now this is only looking at it from the standpoint of just defining the curtain panel itself. Uh, we don't specify anything else and the spacing. We don't specify mullions or anything like that. So if I wanted to, let's say I did um, the border mullions to be like a one inch square um, and these mullions too, by the way, you can create your own custom mullion family and load it into the project and then it'll show up in the list and then you can select it from the list and then you can place it in there. Um, I've seen other people as well when they make their curtain, uh, when they make their Spanish tile roof system, they create a standard beam system with regular timber beams that run horizontally and vertically underneath um, to make it look like there's some kind of framing system that this sits on top of. Um, I've also seen where people will create a standard basic really thin roof and they may have like two or three layers of um, content like plywood, um, sheathing, vapor barrier, whatever material they want as a standard roof and they'll place it there and then they'll place this curtain sloped glazing roof in the exact same location just raised higher so it sits on top of the generic roof. So in, in, in essence you're making multiple roofs, one for the structure as a beam system, one as the, the interior components of the flat parts of the roof. Maybe you're doing like a corrugated metal paneling um, and then vapor barrier and then above that will be the actual Spanish tile. So um, this just was supposed to be a really quick little video on how you might want to create Spanish tile roof in this manner. Um, there, I have seen on YouTube a lot of people create some really good looking Spanish tile roofs uh, of different designs and profiles, but they use the adaptive curtain panel system and massing to make that happen. All right, so hopefully this is enough of an explanation for you for the question that you have. And as always, if you need further help, just let me know. Okay, thank you.